Hi, my name is Henry Lee from blueheronarts.com. We have just come back from the uh, horse ranch and uh, we're going to do a horse painting based on the sketch I uh, did from the scene. Um, so I now uh, doing a painting on rice paper with uh, Sumi ink. And this is a sable, black sable brush. It's a very uh, kind of stiff brush. You can see I have little sketch uh, did with uh, willow charcoal, just uh, a hint of it. And uh, when I paint, I uh, have to do it very decisively, so without hesitation. There's no way I can change the ink. cannot erase it, right? Like a charcoal. I can So the beginning and endings of the stroke indicate the, uh, the power of the painter. Okay. This is uh, another horse. Okay, I'm going to uh, put some color now.
<coughs> now I'm using a water brush uh, with a combination bristle. Uh, I got some color left on the palette from last time. So I just take advantage of that. I got some uh, um, rouge and uh, I blend it with uh, some uh, purple and some uh, brown color to make a kind of a red, dark red color. Uh, you can you can blend with some ink to make it darker. It's what we call this is a bait color. It's a bait bait red, you know, with dark red. Uh, we need to keep the nose white. Just uh, use board washes and just a little bit on that side. It's behind the uh, white horse. You don't have to fill in all the Now the second, the f actually the first one I did, uh, I, I, w I was thinking of white, but uh, we need to put a little bit uh, blue, kind of gray color to uh, shade it. Actually this belongs to him. Just make up a little Okay, that's about it. Now I'm going to apply a little Chinese white, it's opaque white, to, to give an accent on the nose. Uh, not apply any white on the body. So um, we do need, uh, we do need uh, white but uh, use it as an accent but uh, not as a uh, color for any you know all the white part you uh, the, the background the background color as white if you could thank you for watching goodbye